Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me here for another video. So today I'm going to show you the dry results from my previous video. And that was the swipe um, with the really dark colors. And I have to say, I had to really work on this one. Um, and I'm happy with the outcome. So I am going to show you right now. Take a look at this beauty. So I'm going to show you from far. And then I'll bring you in. But look at this. Tell me what you guys think about this one. I love how everything is dispersed within the painting. And I mean the colors. I love the center. It's like a stream of really dark reds and blues. And then the lighter colors on the outside. Tell me what you guys think. Take a look at this. It has a lot of details. So look at this, look at this beauty. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm happy with it. And I am gonna top coat this with resin and the colors are just gonna pop. But check out how different, a lot of motion in this ocean. Um, so this one's available for purchase. If you're interested, email me at elsasgallery at gmail.com. Today, we're going to be working on something a little interesting. I can't wait to dive into it. Meet me down at the canvas. Okay, everyone. So here we are, and we are working on a longer canvas. This is actually a 12 by 24 inch canvas. And I am quickly putting my gloves on, and I'm going to tell you what we're going to be doing. So today, I am going to be puddling the colors uh, down on my canvas. However, I'm gonna do it in a line. And whatever color I start with at the bottom, I'm gonna add on the second layer from the top to the bottom. So first layer would be from top to bottom. Second layer will be from bottom, from, from bottom to top or top to bottom, vice versa. You get my idea. So, I am flooding the canvas with Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. And I am gonna show you what my colors are. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. Let's flood the canvas um, and we'll be right back with the color description. Let's get started. We're going to go ahead and torch out our air bubbles. There's still a few left that, that I can see. Uh, okay. And now I'm going to tell you the colors. So I have Quin Quinacridone Crimson by Holbein. I have Pearl Sage Green by Arteza. Garnet by Deco Art, Light Rose by Amsterdam, and Pearl Ivory by Deco Art. Those are my colors, and that is the layer layout that I want. Now, I'm going to layer those colors in a line going towards the top or like um, in, on a curve kind of angle. And then coming back down, I'm going to do the colors in reverse. So let's see, this one here, this one here. I just want to see gauge distance. This one here, this one there, 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 and there. Okay, a little more. All right. There. Okay. So here I go. I'm starting with. Quinacridone Crimson by Holbein. So I'm going to go from here to here, there. Okay. And now I'm going to go from there to there. Okay. Next, Garnet by Deco Art. And I haven't used this color. I'm going to go from here to 
her hair. And then Light Rose by Amsterdam. From here to here. And last color, Pearl Ivory by Deco Art. I'm gonna go from here to here, okay? Now, when I set in reverse, I'm gonna start with the Pearl Ivory at the bottom. And I'm just gonna follow that line again, here to here. The light rose, here to here. Oh, this is awesome. Looks cute. Oh, there's a screw up. My garnet is gonna end up oh, again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my garnet to go here, and I'm gonna do my sage green here. And I'm going to. What am I missing? my garnet, my whole bind here to here, okay. I am gonna add a smidge of 24 karat gold throughout the whole thing, slightly, okay. And last, I'm gonna go again um, I think I want to do what do I want to do I'm gonna do white I'm gonna do some white at the top yeah I'm gonna do the pearl white at the top and this is my pearl white by Amsterdam. And just a little bit of the white, just like a, okay, I'm happy with them. Very minimal, um, but I want to see how this turns out. So we're going to go ahead and torch it out. Okay. And we're going to begin. Okay, so I like what I see. I get a lot of more of the colors down on this end um, and then that stream of colors down the middle. And here, I just lost my colors. Um, I only get the garnet and the Holbein, um, but that's okay because I can always add it right here in the center. Um, which is exactly what I'm going to do as you guys watch. So I'm going to add some of the sage, some of the 24 karat gold, um, and a little bit of this pink. So I'm going to do that just so that you can see what I do to add colors in sections where I don't have the color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it right here. Um, and I'm going to add some pink. And I'm going to add some 24 karat gold coming from there and a little more of the green right there. Okay. Um, and I am going to come around as much as I can. I do need to move the camera a little bit um, so you guys can still see right there. However, it's going to allow me 
to show you what I do. So it's right in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blow. So you see, you can see the red, um, but you see more of that sage in there. And then I'll just, with my finger, trace this red down. Okay, so just an idea, not something that you have to do, but I do want to add some more color up here. So that's how I add my color um, so that it kind of becomes part of the whole uh painting here or blowout. So I am happy with how that looks. I'm going to clean up my edges, bring you in for a close up. We'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So here it is. And I'm going to bring you in. Um, there you can see. I'm going to bring you in from the bottom here so you can see the details. Look how gorgeous that blanketing of the 24 karat gold is. Um, and the rest of the colors here joining in. Love the pops of that sage green throughout this painting. The It's just gorgeous. Look at that center. How it branches out. Look at that petal. Love, this is a little too dark, but I'm okay with that. And then it branches out once again. And you can see, again, look at those cells. Look how beautiful those pops of that sage green is and the reaction from these paints together. Absolutely beautiful. I do have a lot of runoff because um, I had to tweak that corner there. But absolutely beautiful. This is by far my favorite part right here. Um, let's wait and see how it dries. Thank you for joining me here at Fluid Arts by Elsa. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.